How do you do, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Review Time. Much like what I did with Mr. Biggie Falls ERBO Time, I'm once again checking out another new series from years ago called Epic Fictional Rap Battles. This name might sound familiar to you as Bela Warbs, who once did the Rap Ranter series, actually reviewed all four of these guys' battles. I, however, never did. And most of that is partly because, one, they were already covered by Bela, and two, I just didn't think I would have much to talk about but I decided to hell with it and take a look at one anyway. Much like ERBO time, the series was short-lived and only had about four battles made. So today, I'll be covering what I think is their third battle chronologically. Scout from Team Fortress 2 versus Ness from Earthbound. Also, I am watching a re-upload that's not rendered in 720p or 1080p, so pardon the sudden drop in quality. Epic! Fictional Rap Battles! Wow, what a great first impression so far. The title in the most basic font imaginable, just bobbing left to right every now and then. It's not even properly centered, which really gets under my skin. The announcer having constant voice cracks and is clearly not yelling. And I can't hear the beats in the background. How spectacular this is already. Today, it is... Yes. Okay, what is going on with his stomach here? Is that supposed to be tape? Something tells me he didn't have a striped shirt to wear for Ness. But just look how bad of a job this is. The tape is so sloppily placed all over the shirt with no accurate placements on where the stripes are supposed to be. The tape doesn't even go all the way around the shirt either as seen in a sideways shot. And again, look at his stomach. Is that even safe? Nope, not safe at all. All that aside, the costume is actually pretty accurate to the character. He's got the hat, pants, and hat right. All he's really missing is the backpack on his back. Now, while I can confidently say this is a I found this in my closet costume, I don't think it's nearly as bad to actually warrant a tag. But because of the haphazardly placed tape, it does come pretty close. As for the backgrounds, well, I'll get to those in a bit. Versus the sky! So once again, the costume isn't actually all that bad. I don't know what kind of gun he's holding though because of the terrible quality. And I know for a fact that's the same exact bat Ness uses instead of the silver colored bat the Scout actually has. And also, is that bat going into his pants? Dude, you have a strap around your chest. That's enough to keep it holstered. Now for the background, they're just JPEGs taken from the two games with no actual grounds to place the characters. This is about as basic as the editing and visuals get. Begin! I've come here for a battle, you got a lot of sass. Oh great, so you're telling me they didn't bother to turn off the volume on the instrumental they're using. I feel like I'm listening to an acapella version of this battle. I've come here for a battle, you got a lot of sass. Yeah, he sure has a lot of sass for someone who isn't talking right now. And why are the subtitles red? Why that choice of color? You're terrible compared to every class. Uh, who's that behind Scout? Is that, is that a Combine soldier from Half-Life? These side backgrounds don't even line up with the first ones because they are in completely different locations. You're terrible compared to every class. Yeah, he kind of does. Although that might be biased for me because his double jumping can be pretty obnoxious in the game. Earthbound's an actual game. Yeah, and so is Team Fortress 2. What exactly are you saying to imply TF2 isn't a legitimate video game? TF2 is just free and lame. The fact you said it's free is enough to not say it's lame. So, good job with that. Also, warn to catch a bat, you dingus. Demon Demon Man and Soldier are better than you. I know the game's logic can have two soldiers at the same time, but you do realize there's only one of them each, right? Why you brought them up specifically, I don't know. And also, wrong then. Demon Demon Man and Soldier are better than you. I'll beat you on Team Red or Team Blue. Are you out of breath or something? Are you doing all this in one take? With a beat like that, that's actually pretty impressive. 
a beach one team red or team blue now can somebody please tell me what is going on back there hi guys does anybody know where i could get tickets to the geneva convention the only thing I like is that we both carry a bass. Both of which happen to be the same exact one they are carrying as I said before. But really, who likes someone because they share an unimportant fact together? Oh, you have the newest iPhone 15 Plus Pro Series S Series X Plus Size Edition? Dude, I wanna fuck you in the ass tonight. Just leave and go back to collecting your hats. Anybody knows how off the pattern is? It's like it goes from two lines to sometimes one to sometimes three and a half to sometimes a half. Like, are they not following the beat? Are they just going off of their lyrics with no reference of a pattern whatsoever and then find a beat afterwards? Maybe it would have sounded better if, you know, I could actually hear the fucking instrumental. You can't make fun of my game. This is between you and me. My boy. What is happening back there? How you doing? You can't make fun of my game, this is between you and me. I swear, they will release a new update for the game this month. Don't make fun of me! Your fat and I can run as far as I can see. Fat? Even if we consider the original design of Ness? Does that look like a fat kid to you? I get played all week. What do you play an hour by geek? Time out! What is this down here? My game, your game, in parentheses? Do you think that little of your audience that you don't believe they'll understand that you're referring to each other's games and have to spell it out for us? Why not just say, my game is played all week, what is yours being played an hour by a geek? Not that difficult. What are you played an hour by a geek? Uh-oh, he's being sent to the Shadow Realm. Anyways, about the whole game playing part. You do know there are retro gamers, right? And most of them play one title just as long as people play your game too. You're not special. You're on the least popular console. Uh, where am I sliding to? Help me! You're on the least popular console. That console in question is the Super Nintendo. I don't think I need to tell you why Scout's claim about it being the least popular console is flawed. You're on the least popular console, it should be on a Dell. I mean, it is along with other PCs. Ever heard of emulators? Computers the thing. I can't say computers the shit because my mommy will take my chicken tennies away. That fucking drippy cow. Computers the thing. Get the intel! There's nobody there. I'm a psychic. Oh, you are? Well then tell me, does this battle get any better? Uh, 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 my powers are beyond your understanding. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. I'm a psychic. Dude, get your facts straight. Just realize. Is it either get your facts straight or just realize? Can't do both. Just realize, you're using your game as bait. What? Like he's a fish? I may not like playing as scouts, but when it comes to playing the objective, he gets the job done. And by that, I mean taking the intel, because 2-4 is the only map I ever play on that game. Now get out of my sight, you're getting annoying. I'm not particularly fond of you either, so can you leave too? Surrender, because I'm destroying. I'd say this was probably written by children, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's been confirmed a long time ago. You better take cover. PK Thunder! Oh no, his purple Sony Vegas circle's gonna spin behind him. Whatever will we do? I came here to win. Now, where is he this time? A factory? And why spy there now? You couldn't be bothered to find one TF2 background that didn't have a character in it? I came here to win, and that's what I'm gonna do. If this is you trying, oof. You already know Smash Bros are all new. Says the first person shooter game. I mean, there's Mario hits him with a cloth. Hits him with a what? What is this cloth you speak of? Hey, you Bowser, it's your boy Mario from Brooklyn. Let me hit you with this fucking rag. And Kirby turns you into broth. Did you seriously Google Kirby broth and get this as a result? And that's why you made that joke? Well, you know what? Let me do that myself using the same search results with a different image. Kirby's gonna hold you in his mouth against your will. Yeah, try figuring out that reference. Here she throws eggs? Yeah, no shit he does. Why is that a negative? And also, Ness, 
learn to catch a bat. And Joey Puff doesn't have any legs? Well, of course he doesn't, because the last time us internet users tried photoshopping legs on him, it had some interesting results. You're like heavy, large, overcharged! Oh no, he's turning red! Quick, Ness, use the power of your bat balancing skills to knock some sense into him! Man, what can I even say about this one? I suppose I'll cut them a little bit of slack since they are children making these videos. We've all been there after all when the results were just as iffy as it is here. But, because it's me, I'm still gonna rip them for their shoddy efforts. The biggest problem is that I can't hear the beats at all. I don't know if it was playing while they were rapping into their microphones, or if they genuinely had no idea how to raise the volume on it. But regardless, it really takes away from the experience. The costumes, tape on shirt notwithstanding, are actually alright, there ain't too much wrong with either one. The rapping, again, maybe if I heard the beat it would be better, but as it currently stands, it's all over the place. There's no consistency with its pattern, it just seems to go for either two lines or one, or a half, and it's just... Ugh. Oh, and the lyrics? Psh, children writing. That's all I have to say. This battle could have easily been a 1 out of 10, but because they got at least somewhat the costumes right, I'll bump it to one more point. But that's all I can give them. This battle has been quite a waste of time, and with that, I'll give Scout vs. Ness an overall rating of 2 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching, and next time you make a battle, remember to turn up the volume on your instrumental. Suck it.